What's up everyone, it's your boy, Mr. Worldwide, Mrs. 305, darling, it's your boy, Sub-Zero Burrito, it's a step up in the room, <laughs> darling. Alright, we back in this bitch for some more Minecraft. Uh, this is just a, an impromptu recording, I'm just kind of feeling it at 2am in the morning right now, just one of those nights, I'm just kind of mellowed out. I guess I'm just making this to uh, just kind of unwind, get some thoughts out. Is, uh, some developments have occurred, uh, I guess, IRL, and uh, within the world, but if you watch the, the latest episode, then you should know what's going on with this, our little burrito burrow. So because this is an impromptu recording session, uh, well, I have no plan. So I guess right now, the main objective is to just get started on this little hobbit hole here and hope I can get something decent so lately I've been talking to my friends about this whole YouTube channel and I guess right now my one of my concerns is just how to get the Sub-Zero burrito name out there you know and I guess in in our modern age in the year of our Lord 2022 Social media is obviously the wave, mainly TikTok. However, me being the boomer that I am, have vehemently stayed away from that site for, for a number of reasons. Also, while I was uh, going over my one of my previous videos with my friends, my one of my friends pointed out that I like to do this a lot, just jump up and on the chest. Well, to anybody else who's no noticed that, I'm sorry. There's just something satisfying about slowly walking up these blocks. My infinite gratitude to uh, everybody who's watched and, and subscribed, you know. At least tried to uh, help support me by shouting my shit out. And uh, speaking of, if you, if you want to share, share these videos with your friends, you know, tell them. Tell them all about Sub-Zero Burrito. Alright, that's how it's looking right now. We got a, a pretty pretty open concept on the inside. So going back to the whole um, growth strategy or advertising I should say. Uh, important announcement. I, uh, I have a, a TikTok and Instagram account. No! Yeah. Um, link in description, hopefully. So maybe you go check that out. It's uh, it's the usual Sub Zero Burrito. I think maybe on Instagram it might be Sub Zero underscore Burrito because I guess I'm not original and somebody somebody already took that. What the hell, random dude? Only I can be Sub Zero Burrito. So with these uh, unscripted videos, uh, obviously it's hard to figure out what exactly to talk about, but. Um, simply enough, uh, my friend suggested, you know, maybe I'll just talk about my day. Uh, maybe nobody gives a shit, but I'm gonna tell you about it anyway. See, I try to keep, keep, uh, my content unscripted just so I can just be myself authentically as possible without any sort of, uh, like filter or at least some sort of quality control which uh, probably is not a good thing when I'm trying to make quality content however comma I I try to be as uh, as genuine as I can I take a lot of inspiration from a, a youtuber named Jay Schlatt um, well He's known as Jay Slap, but he actually has another channel called The Weekly Slap, which which is basically just him commentating about whatever his viewers ask him to talk about topics, I suppose, uh, on anything with just him playing Call of Duty in the background. And I guess that's what I'm trying to replicate here. One of his uh, most recent videos, I believe, is like what motivates you. So, uh. I guess I'll take a page out of his book and uh, put my own twist on it, you know? See, with this whole thing, like, even though I'm so new and I, I, 
I'm barely breaking 20 subscribers right now. Uh, thank you for subscribing, by the way. Uh, I I just feel that if I can if I can make someone's day brighter, it's by a little. And even if it's only one person, then I I I'd say I I've done my part. Okay. Uh, back to gameplay. I have uh, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah. Now that I'm doing this, I feel like maybe I should have gotten diamonds first. You know it is what it is. Whatever. Where I'm not in any rush. So continuing on with uh, my motivations, um, well, I, I'd be lying if I if I said I wasn't doing this for the money as well. But um, to sound a little less selfish, uh, with with the whole money thing on YouTube, I guess I just kind of want to find a way to support myself doing this rather than working a standard nine to five, you know. Like again, I just uh, I want to find a way to support people close to me as well as myself without being miserable. I think the only downside to making this a more laid back and chill video is that I can't I can't bombard every other second with memes and shit. I feel like uh, my editing's gotten a bit better though. I think. One thing I can 100% work on is just uh, my commentary, as uh, I think <laughs> some of you can tell. But, uh, you know, with everything, it takes time. Alright, so it looks like the foundations are, are being set in for this little centerpiece here. Okay, so reflecting on um, this current recording right now it's uh, very all over the place and uh, for that i apologize this uh, again this recording was very uh off the dome and honestly just thinking about this whole youtube thing a bit more more seriously in terms of of how we can grow the brand and get the name out there and improve my my thumbnails my tags just uh, my my editing pacing commentary everything i guess it's just been kind of a lot you know i didn't think i'd fall for for this whole thing so hard so quickly obviously right now i'm in school um and honestly i haven't been the, the best student lately because i've been neglecting my work just to uh just to do editing and to think of uh just how I could do better with this. So right now, all I kind of do is just eat, sleep, and breathe my my YouTube channel. Okay, it's looking good. Not too shabby. There's actually some sort of shape to this uh, whole whole place. You know, as much as I'm not enjoying school right now, there is one thing that actually has stuck with me that I, I've learned and ironically it uh, was not at all part of the curriculum nor was it part of any subject matter that we're actually taking in and it's that one of my profs said and it still stuck with me is that efficiency is just laziness but with a purpose and the reason I bring that up is because I feel like maybe maybe like like maybe 10% of me, I don't script these, is because I'm a little lazy, you know? Again, I do want to keep it genuine and just keep it off the dome, uh, everything in my head unfiltered, but yeah, but like, you know, it does have a purpose, so I'd say it's, uh, it's fairly efficient. What the fuck? How you do that, man? The fuck you say to me, you little shit? Alright. I think that's a this is a pretty nice centerpiece. So I've finished up the interior, or at least worked on it a little bit. And as of now, this is what it looks like. Yeah, let's go. Hold up. And I think we got ourselves a thumbnail. Okay, and now here, I have ideas for this which I will not disclose. I'll keep it nice and secret for now. But this is the basic gist of it, of what it's supposed to look like. Uh, these rooms kind of suck. 
Uh, I guess I'll have to uh, brainstorm ideas for these ones. But it's looking good. And one last thing I wanted to do. Yeah, just a bit of more greenery up there. And so with that, I'll leave it here. Thank you for watching. Uh, this episode was a little bit more chilled out. So apologies if uh, the, the energy was not exactly what you were hoping for. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Mr. Worldwide, out. I like it, Kaji. <laughs>